Hey guys, it's Rob Zuberg with Paperless Student. In today's video, I will be talking to you guys about the latest updates from PDF Expert. I present you PDF Expert 7. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe if you're looking for a solution to go paperless with your studies or your business. And if you're already subscribed, make sure you turn on your notifications so you know when I release a new video. We are starting to see a subscription trend with a lot of applications that I believe could be the death of most of them. I hope a lot of developers get and appreciate this. Not every app can sustain a subscription setup. Paid updates, perhaps. I could try and understand that. Subscriptions, that's a completely different story. I am not happy with PDF Expert's move to go for subscriptions. I was upset when I first got the notification, when I first got the email from the Rudial team. And I am still upset about it. I will tell you this without a shred of doubt in my mind, I will not be buying a subscription for PDF Expert 7 Pro features. $50 a year for three features? You should see the look on my face right now. Is the real Tim serious? Really? Unbelievable. They don't even have a monthly subscription to offer, which could have convinced people to pay. I mean, if you know that you're going to be paying maybe let's say $4 a month or $5 a month, you could talk yourself into this. I don't know what Apple is doing to encourage developers to do this, but I doubt it will work for a lot of applications because I don't think a lot of us are ready to add apps to our monthly utility bills. Both developers and Apple need to come up with a better plan of making money off their applications. Let me know how you guys feel about the way subscription are increasing on app store in this video i will be reviewing the free version of pdf expert then i will sign up for the trial version with the pro applications to show you guys what the pro features are getting you in the next video on this application if you had the pro version of pdf expert 6 like i did you don't lose your pro features from the previous version of pdf expert they're just confusing us. This is officially the worst update I have seen in any application this year. It breaks my heart that it had to come from Riddle. The interface is improved. It is cleaner and more slick, which is to be expected of any application in 2019. I do love the new look. It's refreshing. The homepage setup has slightly changed. You get an option to create a PDF right at the very top here on the sidebar. The application has been designed to convince you to sign up for the pro version everywhere you turn by combining features available in the free version version with those that are not available in your version. You have all the features right there in your face and so every time you accidentally tap one you will get a pop-up asking you to subscribe for a yearly subscription. They also renamed the on my iPad option to files. These are the files that are in your application. Your recent tab has been moved up it used to be down here and where they used to have your recent documents they added a feature to add your favorite files and folders here for easier access that's actually quite useful you can now collapse this menu if you prefer a minimalist look on your home page you will like this i like it and you can change your theme to a light one now it only works for the home page it seems i hope in the coming updates they'll be able to add it even for your application you know when you're actually using the application this pop-up menu arrangement has been changed as well it used to have a thumbnail look now they made it a list instead i do prefer the list approach it looks neater it looks more professional and i like that and now your editing options also appear as lists here on your sidebar so when you select something and you want to edit it your edit menu appears on the sidebar it replaces your constant sidebar riddle has done a great job trying to improve the user interface but that's not worth a subscription payment not even an upgrade payment it's expected of every application that you continue improving your application how it looks and how your users interact with your application people usually pay for features not for how the application looks they just want to make as much money out of us as they can if they had a convincing product they could get away with it unfortunately they don't in the application they also have made their tools more accessible in pdf expert 6 it was very difficult and unpleasant to navigate and they fixed that so now you can easily access all your different tools without covering any toolbars and that's really cool 
You can even add and remove tabs from your toolbar now. The only tab I don't want on my toolbar is the one with favorites because this feature is not available to me on my version of the application. The application now supports two pen types, a ballpoint one and a fountain version as I like to call them. The handwriting feels good. It might make for a good note taking application only for those that like the good notes inking style. This feature is available for free on the applications. It's a cool idea for a free note taking application. The only problem I had with the application previously was that they didn't offer enough thickness varieties for their pens and they fixed that. I'm happy that they did. They also separated the pen tool from the highlighter. In the previous version, they sort of fell under the same tool. You had to tamper with thickness and their opacity to, you know, uh, get your highlighters in the application. Their eraser now erases per stroke and per pixel. They went with notabilities look on this one. And I'm thinking, are the developers talking or are they using a similar basic code very interesting the moment i saw this i'm like ah notability has that too by the way this video is only focusing on changes that have happened in the application it's not a full review of the application so if i'm skipping something it means it hasn't changed they have added stickers. According to their website, I shouldn't be having stickers. Pro users from PDF Expert 6 don't get stickers. Now that's just being petty. No? Am I the only one who thinks that? Why am I not getting stickers? That doesn't make any sense. It's free anyway, so why can't it be free for everyone? For images, you can now choose the quality of images you want to add to your PDFs. That's cool. You still can't drag and drop images out of PDF Expert though. And this drag and drop feature is very important, I think, especially if you want to extract information out of your PDFs. A PDF without a drag and drop feature is a handicap. You can now add audio files to your PDFs. The audio record icon is cute. I like it. The application doesn't export the audio files with your PDF though, and it doesn't even give you the option or recognize that your PDF has an audio. I should at least be able to, yeah, have my audio or at least have options to know what I do with my audio that I recorded within the application. So for now, the audio you record in the application stays in the application, which won't be a problem if you want to keep the audio and your file in the application and you don't want to export them. So, nothing impressive or exciting about this update. In the next video on this application, I will go through the pro options which PDF Expert 7 is expecting a yearly subscription for. I hope you guys liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know what you guys think about the subscription plague that is spreading through App Store. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.